Hello everyone, this is Nyeji and I want to do this beginner guide for some of you Anna players that are coming here for that. So yes. Um I'm going to start off with like what kind of move you should use at the start of the round. Like um I have like some preference of what kind of move you should use and what kind of move you shouldn't use, but the truth is you don't have to use a move. Sometimes the best option is just to like stay guarding, you know, or back dash or you know, uh side step or try to not throw out an attack, maybe just watch what your opponent's doing. But if you do want to throw out a move, there's only a certain amount of moves that are really like usable at the the beginning because if you go for like a 4 or 3 at 17 to 19 frames, it's super slow. It's probably going to get you killed if you use it, so you probably don't want to use that. So the most common move that you should use is down 4-1 back. This will hit them low, give you plus 1 frame, and um, give you an instant mix-up. And what I mean by instant mix-up is if your opponent like doesn't have a high crush move that is like 11 frames, then pretty much you can just clip them with 2-3, I mean 2-1. Okay, let me just make myself clear, unless you guys don't understand. The buttons are 1 is for your left punch, 2 is for your right punch, 3 is for your left kick, 4 is for your right kick. So I'm going to refer to them as that way, okay? Okay, so yes, if after you do down 4-1 back, or you can see the command input down there. After you do this option here, if you hit them, you do get a free mix-up. So you do have an opportunity to go do this or you can go any other option but a lot of times you want to stay safe you do this move here and you will remain safe but if you want more damage of course you can try to do other mix-up but the slower move can be interrupted it are they are not considered frame traps the only frame trap option is this one here to this move here you press the two right afterwards if you hit them on hit and they can't really press a button but they can still walk you okay and then another move that I think it's good for starting off is down 4-1 it comes out at 13 frames not too risky you know the only thing that you'll probably risk is getting hit with magic 4 but <clears throat> that's not too bad you know uh, down 4-1 and then also up 4-1, same thing, but of course this one you can go this whole string if you really commit. If you're planning to hit them by saying they're going to do something stupid, right, which it won't work against my strategy here. If you do any of these options and you do these, it won't really work out because I don't recommend you doing any move slower than uh, 13 frame unless you're doing a high crush move, okay? So first off, um, these are the recommended moves from a starting match that uh, you should do. They are safer and they don't really uh, take long to execute. You can also do standing 1-2 or like just standing 1. Those are also good. Other than that, just back off. If your opponent likes to throw out like standing 1 punches, standing 1-2 punches, then I recommend you to do down back 3. This is all. This is the launcher, so you can actually do combo from here. So yeah. Um, and then also another one is on down four I mean down three two down three two is also a high crush counter hit launcher so if they do if your opponent throws this a lot you you have to test the water you can't just like throw out these move on the first round you know it might work but I wouldn't recommend you doing it right like if you're gonna go for an easy high crush option down four would probably be your better option to be safe on the safe side if you want to throw out big moves like this, you know, and do like massive combos, it's welcome, but you're taking a large risk there. So yeah. All right. Okay. So now, um, next, I think low poke is a essential part of the fighting game world, you know, and because if you don't go low, your opponent can just stand and guard. So for beginner players, I recommend that, you know, when you get the opportunity, in other words, if you are approaching a defending opponent and you're you're running in for a mix-up option, you don't always have to do like your strongest launching moves like this or like this, you know. 
If you're gonna do a low, I recommend you doing maybe sidestep two, very safe low option. Not safe, but like um, not as dangerous. It's only minus 11 on guard. So I know a lot of you guys probably aren't uh, familiar with frames, but the frame will show here. That this is okay. It's minus 12. My bad. Okay, and then um, down four four is also a good poke, but it's minus 15. This is launch punishable, so you have to be careful about using this move but it is one of your best lows so yes uh, I think it's very dangerous but it's also very uh, useful because if you use this option <clears throat> you get a frame trap and I'll explain frame trap right after this okay and then uh, also down 4-1 down 4-1 is also a really good poke you can use this almost all the time anywhere um, and one thing is, if you go to down back 3-3, three, three, sometimes this does high crush depending on your opponent. If your opponent has a lower hit box for his jabs, this will not crush it. Crush it just basically means it will not go under the jab. And um, if, you use, uh, if you use this row here, sometimes the jab doesn't work either. So the only option to go under the jab sometimes is you have to do this crouch dash by pressing down 4 afterwards. So if you do do down 4, your better option to continue crushing will be using this down 4 or 4. Or you could just go into a long strive and then do a down 4 to uh, 1 and it will give you that. This is a natural combo meaning that it will they can't block the second one if you hit the first one. And it's also hit confirmable so yeah. Meaning that if you see the first one hit, you can press the second one and it will still come out. So yes. Okay, so that covers the low poke. So yes, use your down 4-4, use your side step 2, and um, down 4-1. These are your preferable low pokes. And low poke, I, I said, is a very essential part of the fighting game because that's something where, you know, you can use to open up your opponent, you know. And uh, yeah, don't always go for these big launchers. It's if you really believe that it's gonna hit, then you go for it. But um, it is dangerous, and I don't see like it's that. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad option. If you want to go low, sometimes this is definitely a good option as well because this does high crush, and it's only minus 17, 15 to 17, depending on the range. So it's not that bad. So you can use it. Some characters like Anna. If you're playing against an Anna character, it's welcome. You can't launch this, so you definitely can spam this. Okay. Now let's cover frame traps. If you guys don't know what frame traps are, frame traps are just basically your opponent's fastest move cannot interrupt your next move after you use a certain move. For example, I know that's kind of hard to explain, but okay, I need to describe, but I am the way I said it, I don't know if you guys understand that, but okay. So when I use this, I'm going to show you the first frame trap move, and I think for beginner, this will probably be pretty useful for you guys. I don't know how good uh, beginners are, but yeah, um, if you have the opportunity to land for four or two, it's good against block blocking opponent standing blocking opponent so what happens here is you get a mix up after you okay this is a this is a preferred frame trap that I'll show you right now so you do for four two and then immediately you press down four one two so for four two into down four one two what happens here is what happens here is okay if I pause it right here you get plus six frame advantage as you can see it shows plus six frame advantage so Plus six frame advantage, that means that your next move, you're going to have six less frame to use that next move. Your next move. The fastest move Anna characters can use is obviously this parry, but it's at three frames. But we're not going to deal with parry because this is not an actual attack. But the thing is, they can parry you after this move, after you hit them on that uh, thing. But the point is, your Anna's fastest move is going to start up at ten frames. So that means that your Anna, you or most, okay, I'm just going to say this. Most characters, uh, fastest move, or pretty much the majority of the character, almost every character in the game's fastest move is 10 frame. So that means after you hit this, you get 6 plus frame on block. 
And if you do a down 4, 1, 2, this move starts out at 13 frames. So from 13, you minus 6, it becomes 7 frames. So this becomes a 7 frame startup. So what happens is, if you throw out this and you do down 4, 1, 2, if your opponent doesn't have a move that is faster than 7 frames, they will always get hit if they try to press a button. So for example, if I try to press a button, I would just get hit, okay? So what happens there is that you you have enabled yourself after doing for 4 2 on block. This is on block. Just make sure you understand that it's on block. If you hit them on block and you do down 4 1 2, this becomes a move that uh, will hit them if they press any button. However, it is not the complete um, op like it th there is always a way to get out of this stuff. So if your opponent is familiar with this, they will sidestep. They will try to sidestep, but it's still really hard to sidestep this. Okay, I don't even think Anna can sidestep this. Because Anna doesn't have the uh, the quick uh, feats the quick sidestep ability, she can't sidestep that, so it's not a good um it's not a good uh, way to show you guys. I'll show you a uh, that that's a very strong uh, frame trap, so you can use that to stop people from walking in anything. So that's basically if you hit this, this is pretty much guaranteed to uh, land on block or hit if you do that. So I'll show you court circle four one instead. This option here is also a frame trap. So if you can, you can do quarter circle four one. Basically, from down to down four, that's quarter circle four, and then you press the one, and this will give you uh around two to six frame plus advantage and the majority of the time it's going to be plus three at mid range so you're going to get about three frames and you can always trap with down four one two as well so what happens here is if you trap with one two and they throw a punch you guys would exchange attacks so yeah it just looks like this however they can still walk you and if they throw anything slower they'll just get caught so this is a very strong option right here so what happens is if you if they sidewalk you you have an option now so what happens is you have to begin to create the meta that if they walk you, if they start walking you a lot you have a few options you can go to size you can go to back to two this will catch them as they're walking so this is what happens if they try to walk they'll just get clipped like that and then you can combo off of that but we'll go into that later so what I recommend is if after you do down 4 one 2 you always should do down for uh, course circle for one you should always do down 4 one 2 however if your opponent starts walking you and you see that then you can throw back to two okay and still back to two is still dangerous so it's kind of um, risky to throw it out that's why I don't recommend it um, if you don't like to throw out back to two your other option is down four and down three these two move tracks to two separate sides tracking basically means if they try to walk you just clip them so for example if they try to walk you just clip them like this if they go this way it still clips you know but for the most part down four will usually clip them if uh, you want to and it's still a frame trap it's still 11 frame but it also takes the risk of getting launched so you have to be careful there too. So okay, um, other frame traps that uh, I think will be useful as well is also using this down 4-4 four, four on a poke. If you do hit your opponent with this, the odds of you hitting another one is very likely. In other words, what happens is most players when they get hit with this, they are a crouching stance and um, their next move usually most characters next move is the 11 frame and they're at minus 5 in 11 so what happens is you will get a counter hit but you will trade with them but you get a counter hit so this is what happens oh, if they get hit and they try to retaliate that's not supposed to happen okay so let's try that again yeah, this this will be what's supposed to happen, okay? So you guys will trade, but you will get the better of the trade. So yeah, um, they will be on the ground. Um, however, if they try to low poke you out of this, this is what happens. 
If they try to low poke you out of this, a lot of times their character would just uh, poke the wrong way. However, if um, they do predict that you are going low, they can still uh, hop kick you. So what happens is your mix up here becomes down 4-4 four, four, and down 4-4, four, four, down 4-1-2. Four, so of course they could still walk this. So they could kind of walk this, maybe not. I don't know. If you're like Lily, you could probably walk this, but if yeah, so like this, they could still walk you out of this. So um, in the end of the day, same thing, um, down 4-4, four, four, back 2-2 two, two is a good option because at plus 5, they really can't do anything other than dig jab you here. And dig jab usually doesn't do much damage, so you don't really have to worry. So if you do get hit, if you do get them, they try to retaliate, you get a free launch here. So yeah. Okay. So that's the frame trap for down 404. So study the frame traps, you know, that I'm giving out now. And they are very useful. They are moves that are very spammable in one sense. But um, I don't recommend you always spamming it because it is kind of dangerous because not all of them are fast, you know. Next frame trap is sidestep 3. Sidestep 3 pretty much gives you 4 frame advantage and um, on block, of course. <clears throat> most of these are going to be on block except for the low hits. So, so exactly the same thing. If you do catch them, sidestep 3, down 4, 1, 2. If you catch them with sidestep 3, go for down 4, 1, 2. And if they try to sidestep you, which is going to be really hard because they're on, on, they're on crouch. So since they're on crouch, it's really hard to sidestep unless you are like, uh, like I said, if you're Lily or uh, Lisa, then it'll be easier. But if you're any regular character, it's very hard. And same thing here, if you do down four, I uh, sidestep three, you can also jail their sidewalk with this. So yeah, so that's pretty much the uh, that's pretty much a lot of the frame trap um, situations. If you throw out your frame trap move on block. A lot of time your follow-up should always just be either down 4-1-2 for, for an attacking opponent. And you always have to guess what they want to do. If they want to throw attack down 4-1-2, if they want to guard down 4-1-2, if they want to duck down 4-1-2, you know. The only time you want to use back 2-2 two, two is if they sidestep. So yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Next is another move that is probably not spammable. If you get to the higher ranks it's going to be different. But if you are at low rank and you're a beginning player, even at high rank, a lot of times people just get caught with this move. But um, two three uh, two one four two one four is a high 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 option. This here actually is duckable after the second hit, so it is really dangerous because you can get launch punished for this. However, um. What you can do here is actually do down 4, 1, 2 like this and mix it up with down 4, 1, 2, down, I mean, 2, 3, 2, 1, 4 and down 4, 1, 2. So if you do this and you mix it up with this, a lot of times they won't be able to, uh, they won't be able to launch punish you. They'll just either have to guard, you know? So yeah. So that's that's your mix up. If you're playing at a higher level and you're throwing this out and they're ducking you, then you have to mix this up with down four one two. Uh, after the uh, two one. Okay. So about the frame trap. The frame trap from this option is this move gives you plus seven. That's the most of any move that you have that Anna has in the game. Okay. So basically the same thing. <clears throat> If you have an opponent that's um, going to throw or going to guard, pretty much they can't really sidestep this. Down 4, 1, 2 is your best option here. Uh, if you want to go for big damage, this is your moment. If you want to go for big damage after down after 2, 3, uh, 2, 1, 4, if you do 2, 1, 4 after this, you can throw out down 4, 2 for a launcher. So this is the one moment where you can actually throw the, a launcher and you will still trap them. They won't be able to do anything. So yes. So after after this on guard, you can use the down 4, 1, 2 to get the launch. But with that said, that down 4, 1, 2 after the launch will be uh, walkable though, I think. Let's see here. 
I don't know. It, it's still really tough. Well, I don't. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can walk this at least to the non-tracking side. If they walk to the tracking side, they will get caught. But yes. <coughs> so yeah. So if you want to throw out launchers, use this as a setup, and then um, throw a launcher. If this connects on block, if your kick connects on block, you can throw out the launcher. However, if your kick doesn't land on block and it just hits your opponent, it becomes a launcher anyways. So just understand that this will become a launcher anyways if it hits. And then if they duck it, it is launch punishable. Just be very careful. And uh, like I said earlier, you use the down four one two to become your um, jailing move and your 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 move that will hit the person that's going to duck for your mix up. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you probably the most common move used by beginners, and I think this is very useful. Um, down three, four, one. Down three, four, one is a very useful move for beginner because it's really easy to use. It's very hard for players to walk this. A lot of time, players walk to the wrong side. If you try to walk this to this side, you're usually gonna get hit. But if they walk this side, they will get you. However, this move is very good on block. So if you hit them on block, you get a plus two frame. Plus two is not a lot, but plus two is enough for you to use moves like down back four one uh, and down back two four. Make sure you use down back two four. This is a really good move. Don't ever use um, down four one. Down one down one. Four. Yeah, don't use this one. This is a different move. Down four, down one four is a really bad move. It comes out at 10 frame, but if it's if you're gonna use this, it's not really worth it. You rather use this at 11 frame, safe move that um, gives you plus on hit. This one actually doesn't give you plus, so make sure you do the down back two four. So yes, after down four one, down two. This will catch pretty much everything. Except for high crush move and low crush move. So if they try to sidestep here, they will just get catch. <clears throat> so they can't sidestep after this. They can't throw low they can't throw dick punches. They cannot do anything. The only thing they can do from here is a hop kick. Okay? So what happens here is you have still two options. After you do this move here, you can go for this. And you're completely safe on block. You're completely safe. You know, your opponent cannot punish you from this range. Unless your opponent is Li Chaolong. He's the only character that has enough range to punish this option. So, my point is, if you do this. And they just guard. It's minus 10. Actually, Li can't even punish that. It's only minus 10. I thought it was minus 11. Okay, nobody can really punish that. Maybe a big character can, but that's it. The point is, it's pretty safe. It gives you... A Tons of pushback. It creates a space. It's plus one on block. I mean, plus one on hit. And what happens here is, you they could still hop kick you. So your other option to uh, beat out the hop kick is obviously down four, one, two, three. And this is what I recommend. If you do this, you might as well go for down four, one, two, three. Because what happens is, if they do a hop kick and you do down four, one, two, three, you will get a tailspin. Oh yes, and uh, if they do press a button on this move here, the last hit will give you a counter hit launch. So if this hit, you can also combo from this. So really, really useful move here. Okay, <clears throat> and that covers pretty much all the frame traps that I recommend. Uh, there might be more, but um, at the moment, uh, those are the most effective one. Like there is a few more, like down for one plus two and stuff like that but we're not gonna cover those those are not like super frame trappable they're only like plus one so it's really hard to use okay and then um next is uh guarding just guard you know like you have to understand that guard is a very important part of the game a lot of beginners i find they struggle because when they try to hit they just try to hit so this is uh the guard the guard part is about like frame traps as well. If you're fighting another Anna character and she throws out for 4 2, down 4 1 2, basically the frame trap I showed you earlier. 
and you just want to press buttons after you guard the first one, you're gonna get hit. What happens is you have to guard and finish. When she finished with this one, it's your turn. When she does that, it's her turn. When she finished with that, it's your turn. So you have to understand when it is your turn. It's hard to, as a beginner, it's really hard to determine when it's your turn. But the point is this, if you get hit the first time doing this, next time, make sure you don't press the button. Learn from the first time. If you don't learn from the first time, after you get hit by like five times, you have to see it. If you don't see it, then it's gonna be difficult for you to become better or stronger. So yeah, of course, Anna's not the only character with frame traps. Every character has frame traps, so you have to be very, very careful. You have to learn how to guard a lot. And also, um, one thing I see beginner make a lot of mistake is when they actually get hit and they're throwing buttons, you know? Like if you, if, if, if Anna just hits you with like down 4, 4 and she goes for down 4, four 1, it's going to become a frame trap. Or, or anything in general, like let's say down 4, 1, 2 into down 4, 1, 2 again, right? I'm going to, okay. So if you, if you get hit with this, she's at plus 2. She's not at a lot of plus, but she's at enough plus where she can just throw out like uh, 10 to 13 frame move un, uh, uh, respectably, right? But of course, you can just, if you get hit with this, you can still tra trade like this, you know? You can still get this option to hit them, or you could just jab your way out of it. However, the majority of the time, or you can dick punch your way out of it. But um, the majority of the time, you know, uh, players will probably throw out this and maybe they'll go for a jab, you know. And you might, if they see you doing it, you know, they're going to jab you. They're going to throw stuff out that's going to uh, interrupt you. Or they're going to go for, for example, they can just go and do this, you know. So what happens is you have to remain guarding when you get hit sometimes. Or you could just sidewalk. So <clears throat> one thing is... If an opponent throws out frame traps, like I like I said earlier, right? Your real option is guarding, but moving is also very important. If you guard, you will become a way better player. If you guard their attack and you know when it's your turn to throw, and then you throw your move, you will be more successful. And when you throw your move and you throw like frame trap moves, it becomes more better options. You get more better options, right? For example, if it's your turn, you go for stuff like down course circle for one or you go for like sidestep three. You go for stuff that you know is gonna hit them on block and it's gonna have to make them respect the down four one two, right? And after they respect the down four one two, you know that it's their turn, so you don't want to press button. After you hit them on guard, you want to respect them, so you have to guard afterwards. A lot of times what happens is you do a safe move, they're probably gonna go hit you low, you guard low. Or if they're just gonna go mid, you guard mid. But you never know, right? Because right after it's your turn, their turn, you do something, you have to guard. Because you can't just, it's, fighting game is not just always your turn. I mean, unless you just constantly throw this elbow out, like this, or like constantly throw a forward two out, then they're going to probably duck because they know that these are all high options, you know? They're probably going to duck. But yes, um, in the fighting game world, you can only have it your turn so many times guard is one of your best friend you have to guard okay next um combos combos is pretty important because if you don't do the right kind of combos you're gonna lose a lot of damage right so no one expects beginner to be doing like high damage combo hitting quarter circle four one you know and doing all that like uh, you're not gonna do combo video combos, right? My point is you're not gonna do all that good stuff. You're probably gonna throw out like sample combo. Let, let's let's see what they have for sample combos. So down four two, you can do something like this. I mean, I don't recommend that one. It's kind of weird why they do that one, but okay. Uh, if quarter circle four is hard for you to do. I recommend you, I mean, I don't think down four, I don't think this is too hard right here. I don't think that's too hard. 
I mean, if that's too hard, then uh, do down four, one, two, three, like they show you. And just do for four, one plus two. Like this. It's much easier combo. At least you get a combo. If you think that's too hard, then um, you can do four, four instead. Oh no, maybe a night light. Four, four won't even reach. Yeah, for four, one plus two is. This is the easy basic combo, right? So, like that. <clears throat> and then, if you do get a wall, let's just pretend. I don't know if you can get a wall by doing this combo here. Okay, this, it's really hard. Um, what will be a good wall, K? Okay, I don't know if you guys can do this. Okay, so if you can do this combo, I recommend this combo, even though it's a little bit harder. Um, this is pretty easy to do right here, but after you do this, practice dashing up four. Just tap four two times, and then down four one. I have four down four three one four. This will be a very basic wall carry combo, right? And then um, you have to have to have to practice your wall combo. What happens at the wall combo is very basic. You should just do this for your wall combo. Dash up, bang, like that. That's very simple combo. As you can see, you do so much damage even just by doing this. And then you should always learn your wall breaks as well. What happens is in this situation, what you could use for a wall break is this option there. And then it will send your opponent to the other side. But um if you catch your opponent very high, you can do that combo to break the wall, the balcony. But if you don't catch them really high, best option would just be down four, one, two, three, or and down one, two, four, or just down four, one, then down four, three, two, four. So yeah, that would be your basic wall combo. So yeah, and uh, okay. So since we're talking about combo, the best combo starter for beginners by far in my opinion I don't use it but I don't use it that much but if you're a beginning player down 3-2 does not naturally launch but if you catch your opponent on guard or on, in neutral guard this will connect as a combo and what you should do here is exactly the same thing very basic combo so that you don't drop it you know so use this down 2 down 3-2 as one of your good basic uh, combo starter and then um, of course, down back three. If you use down back three, your uh, combo has to a little bit change because you are on the ground. So what you have to do here is instead of doing down four, one, two, three, you just do while rising one, two, three. It basically is the same. And then just dash up, same combo. And then um, my most preferred launcher in the entire game uh, for Anna is four, four, three. This move is really, really, really useful, really, really, really good. No matter who you play, it's going to be good. I play against Anakin, and I spam this move against him, and he's like, dang. Like, right? Like, he's like, why am I spamming this move? And I'm like, damn, this, this move is that good. That's why. It tracks both ways. And the reason why it tracks both ways is because it naturally tracks uh, counterclockwise. But on delay, on delay motion, your character realigns to track the opposite way as well so it's really really good and at max range this move is actually only minus 11 so yeah at max range it only minus 11, oh no minus 12 I lied minus 12 at max range this is only minus 12 so it's really really good it's not even minus 13 but uh, regularly it is minus 13 and plus um, one thing is also the way that it hits your opponent is very, very weird because most players don't react to this move immediately. So a lot of times they react to it after you come down and that's too late and you usually don't get punished for it. So yeah. Okay. So yes. And if you do use this as your combo starter, you can also do the same exact combo like this. Very basic, very easy. You should stick with that because it does good damage. It's very easy to use. Um, if you can't do it, you got to practice it. It doesn't take too much to do that option there, okay? 
And then the last but not least, the most important thing to become a good player is punishment. Reaction and punishment. I know this is a beginner's guy, but this is the next step. If you want to go from beginner to intermediate, punishment is the most important part of the game. In other words, if your opponent tries to throw a launcher at you and you guard the launcher, your opponent will be at minus 12, meaning that you can do any move within 12 frames to damage her or damage him. And you just have to practice punishing. What happens if, if you go into the if you go into this practice room and you do a punish, it would immediately record. Or even better, um, they've had punishment training now, so this will actually help you learn. So you can do like this, so you can practice the punishment. Uh, the good thing about this is they already show you which part it's going to hit. You just have to do the right punish. So yeah. So if you practice like this, you can definitely become stronger, you know? And then I get hit. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, even I'm pretty good at punishing and I still get hit like that, you know? Blocks like that, so yeah. Okay, hopefully this guide, I hope this guide really covered the basics for you guys. If it doesn't, um, put some comments below to really like ask like which part that you guys really need help on. Um, if you guys ask about like how do I do quarter circle 401, that kind of stuff is impossible for me to describe to you. You just do quarter circle 401. <laughs> I think I had an entire video showing me, uh, show the controller on it. Um, I'll try to link it on the card. It will probably appear up there. And uh, yeah, just try your best to do the inputs. Control is more of the hardest thing. But knowledge about the game is also very, very, very important. I feel like knowledge goes far more than control. Because I'm not going to lie, my control is not that good. The, my control of the game is kind of sloppy. A lot of times I do a lot of stuff that doesn't come out right. Like I miss, miss input down 4-4 four, four a lot, down 4-3 a lot, down 4 or down 3 or whatever. It comes out wrong a lot. But it doesn't excuse the fact that I know my thing you know like the knowledge that i have gets me a long way right so yeah for beginners guy i like i said all over you don't want to get killed I'll, I'll recap real quick you don't want to get killed at the starting point so your fast moves should always be your starting moves right you shouldn't do like down four two unless you really really know that they're going to do something stupid and then um you shouldn't be doing like really slow moves. You should always do fast moves. You shouldn't always throw out moves. Sometimes you should be more defensive. You should use a lot of good low pokes. Make sure that your low pokes are effective because some players just guard and you have to throw out lows. Make sure you utilize your frame trap. Anna has more frame trap than most characters. You have to utilize her frame trap. It's very, very useful. Um, of course, uh, some of them are harder to do, but you still have to utilize them. And then, the most important, guard, guard, and guard some more. And um, make sure you connect these very simple combos, because it will take you a long way. And last but not least, the punishment. Make sure you punish them very properly. And also, I forget, but movement. Movement is also very key to uh, being successful. So, all right. Hopefully that helps you guys out. See you guys all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.